Hi, my name is Garrett, solo developer working on Strong by 3, a martial arts combat and exploration game. This week I spent a lot of time working on the color palette using Adobe Color to help me with that. I um, think I'm going to decide, at least for, for right now, um, to use cool colors for most of the environment and most of the models, so like blue, green, and purple, and also for the combat elements like the technique outline and the actual combat um, itself. I'm thinking about using warm colors like red, orange, and yellow. And this is something I'm definitely going to experiment with a lot. There's definitely a lot of change I can I can do with it. Uh, one thing I want to do to set it up better is I made a subgraph so you can select the coordinate on the color palette texture, and then that will be the dominant color. And I think I'm going to incorporate that with a tune shader so it automatically apply a different lighter and darker versions of it. It's something I have to play around with. I'm going to see what's the best workflow because I just want it to be easy to change the colors um, and have them set in the inspector rather than having to you know, manually um, mainly set all the colors, which will kind of be annoying once um, I add a lot more stuff. So I also played around with another sample environment. I just wanted something a little bit more presentable um, and not so prototypey uh, looking when I'm on the main island testing the uh, main mechanics of combat. And so I played around with Guy again to generate an environment, a pretty small one this time. And I added some trees, um, models with that, and just added more rocks and just tried to make it look a little bit more fuller and complete and look sort of like a level. There really wasn't any strategy when I was doing this. I kind of just wanted to, to make something look a little bit better. Um, and I think it turned out pretty good. And with the player and the animation with Mixamo I've been working on for the past couple of weeks, I started to do a little bit more of that, working with blend trees to make um, an animation controller to handle the interactions between um, the player input and animations. Now this is something I'm just starting a little bit. I'm going to hold on a little bit with it because I'm looking at some humble bundle assets. I know there's one right now um, that does character controller. And I want something a little bit more lightweight than what I'm currently using with the 3D game kit. Um, so I'm waiting off to do more of that because I want to have a proper input script before I actually do the animation controllers um, because the animations and the inputs might end up changing. If you'd like to know more about the game, you can head over to the Discord where you can talk with me about the game or anything else. I'm more than happy to talk with all of you guys. So thank you for watching. I love you forever. And I'm coming back next week.